Good evening, everybody. Um, what I'm going to do for you tonight is a really quick um, pan fried haddock with a wonderful potted shrimp style sauce. Um, so, I've been down to North Shields Fish Key today, um, thanks to the Lindsay Brothers and about Nautilus Voyager. I've got some wonderful lines of fresh haddock, freshly caught this morning. Um, to complement the fish, what I'm going to do is a wonderful 24 hour uh, confit potato disc. Then I'm going to make you a beautiful sauce, a pot of trim style sauce with some homemade mayonnaise that's been flavoured with cayenne pepper, nutmeg and lemon juice. Into that I'm going to add some wonderful fresh homemade fish stock and incorporate in the sauce I'm going to put through it some cos lettuce, some wonderful fresh broad beans, some samphire, some beautiful langoustine tails. I'm going to dress that with a beautiful oil that again has been flavoured with nutmeg, cayenne and lemon juice. Okay everyone, what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal this wonderful bit of haddock loin in this hot pan. The hot pan, just got a bit of olive oil in there and that's going to sear the skin and we'll get that cooking straight away. You can see that's an absolutely beautiful piece of fish um, out of the North Sea this morning. Um, provided to me by the Lindsay Brothers down at the Fish Key, really good friends of mine. Um, caught from the Northwest Voyager that was landed about 6 a.m. this morning. This dish, guys, is the fish course that would have been on the menu at Merkeston's 2020 Summer Ball. So I'm quite happy to be cooking for this tonight because I'm actually mixed, mixed cooking this dish and was really looking forward to provide this dish to about. 300 guests that emerge us in this summer. There we go, that's the skin cooking wonderfully well now as you can see. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, that fish now, it's been in the pan for about two minutes and you can just see it's starting to colour nicely, which means the fish is beautifully cooking through there now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip the fish so you can see there now, it's got a wonderful colour to the loin and a wonderful colour to the skin. And that fish now is about 75% cooked. So what we do now, guys, is we're going to add our wonderful clumpy potatoes to the pan. And that wonderful fish oil that has came out of the fish and infused with the olive oil will now flavour these wonderful coffee potatoes. Coffee just means slowly cooked in fat or oil. I've used a really extra virgin Spanish olive oil for my dish. Um, really slow heat, number one, for about an hour, and took off the heat and left in the oil overnight and infused with this wonderful thyme. So the potatoes have that wonderful flavour now. So that's going to cook nicely now for about two or three minutes. Right, it's time to make the sauce to go with this wonderful fish dish. Um, what I've got here is some wonderful homemade mayonnaise. I've flavoured the mayo with cayenne pepper, nutmeg, and a squeeze of fresh lemon juice. I'm now going to add to it some homemade fish stock. Fish stock, just fish heads, fish bones, a bit of water, and a nice cookie garni with parsley, bay and thyme. And that's my wonderful homemade fish stock. Bring that to the boil, let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Pass it, let it cool down, and you've got this wonderful flavour of the sea going into this wonderful sauce. With the sauce being egg-based, guys, you might want to don't knock it back too far with the fish stock because naturally, with it being egg based, it's going to thicken up. So what I'm going to do now to my sauce, I'm going to incorporate in the cooking order the ingredients to finish the sauce. So first off, okay then. So in cooking order, I'm adding to my sauce some English cod lettuce. 
that's just going to go in there and that will work down that will take two or three minutes to work that down and that's going to form part of this wonderful sauce for this wonderful egg tonight um, next in some really fresh green beans uh, some broad beans sorry they're really in season at the moment and really cheap to buy I think I bought a kilo of these wonderful things for about 50p in the market this morning so there we go some wonderful fresh broad beans wonderful they're going to take about two two minutes to cook through as well so that's the sauce cooking away nicely now fish is practically cooked potatoes practically cooked next into the sauce we've got some wonderful clams and some wonderful langoustine tails going in there now which I've just diced up and again they're already cooked so they just need to to warm through nicely there we go see that sauce it's looking absolutely beautiful these potted shrimp style sauces guys are absolutely fantastic for, for fish dishes you know you could do this with a nice homemade tartar sauce as an alternative but this at the moment is probably one of my favorite fish sauces that I love to make when I'm cooking at home so the last thing I'm going to add to this sauce is some fresh northeast samphire um, from the Amber Estuary. Um, it's just going to give the sauce a wonderful texture and some flavour into it. Um, a lot of people call this sea asparagus. I just call it samphire. Um, and again, thanks to Lindsay Brothers at North Shoes Fish Key who provided me with this wonderful salty sea vegetable the last thing I'm adding to the sauce is some beautiful pickled shallots I pickle these shallots in some red wine some red wine vinegar and a little bit of sugar a little bit of water and that's going to give the dish a nice acidity that's going to cut nicely through the fat the fatty of the haddock and the the potato so there we go I'm going to cook that out guys for about one minute and that sauce will be absolutely beautiful I'm just going to add a wee bit of lemon juice into it there now some nice salt with a nice seasoning some nice pepper and we're going to be ready to plate this dish up guys so that's everything cooked through now. Sauce is made beautifully. Fish is cooked. I'm just going to give it a quick season as well. A bit of salt, table salt, sea salt, doesn't really matter. I'm going to season up my pointy potatoes. A bit of black pepper there as well. On the potato. If you thought you tried every variation of potatoes from roast, mash, dauphin war, please, please give these wonderful confit potatoes ago they're absolutely delicious and they go with this dish fantastically well so that's my fish beautifully cooked as you can tell now it's beautifully cooked a lovely bit of fish cookery there a great degree of cooking i'm now going to let that fish rest for two minutes whilst i i plate up okay i'm at that stage now five minutes in i'm ready to plate up this wonderful dish so what I'm going to do is into my serving bowl, I'm going to place three of these beautiful confit potato. There we go, beautiful. Into that, some of my sauce which is now cooked through fantastically well with my pickled red shallots, my samphire, my cos lettuce, and my clam and langoustine tail. I'm just going to plate that in the middle of the bowl as so. And that's a bit of the bottom of the place nicely, nicely sourced. On top of that, 
I'm now going to place this great piece of North Sea haddock, freshly caught this morning, and I'm then going to dress it with some more of that wonderful sauce and the samphire over the top of that sauce there, over the top of that fish there, with a wee bit of samphire, a wee bit of clam, some nice langoustine tail, some pickled red shallots. There we go. And to finish my dish tonight, what I'm going to do is I've made a fantastic oil with nutmeg, cayenne and lemon juice. And I'm just going to finish the dish off with a bit of that oil around the bowl as so. As so. And then I'm just going to give it a spray of a nice mist of some white truffle oil around the outside of the plate. There we go. There we go. That is my 24 hour comfy potato, pan fried haddock loin with a sauce consisting of homemade mayo, fish stock, fresh samphire, cos lettuce, broad beans and samphire. And we're going to enjoy that for our dinner tonight with a nice glass of Chardonnay.